Hi, Marco here. Let's quickly have a look at TeamCity's test result pages. When you open up your project, or rather your build configuration, then you'll see a table of the past historic builds. Build number 47, for example, had six tests that passed, hence it's a green build. Build number 46 had one failing test, hence it's a red build. Now, when you open up the specific build, you'll have a tab over here. You'll also have a link down here, which lead, both lead to the same page. And you'll see the tests overview page, essentially. You'll see every single test that TeamCity executed. You can see a unit test, an integration test, a couple of other tests. You'll see the status, every test was successful. You'll see the duration that a test took, less than a millisecond, a second for the integration test, 300 milliseconds for another test and even the order the tests ran in. Now, what's interesting is that Team City already said that one of these tests is flaky. And that is because here in build number 47, right, the test is successful. If you look at the changes, there were actually no changes pushed to the Git repository. But when you go back and have a look at build number 46, you can see that one test failed, right? And that one failing test is actually that very flaky test and Team City notices that and then highlights the test as flaky down here, right? Or when you have a look at the build configuration, there's even a tab called flaky tests where you can see the very test method that fails, how many failures there were, what the flip rate is and that sort of stuff. Very interesting. Now, again, let's quickly have a look at the test section here because there's a couple of other things you can do. You can download all these test results as a C CSV, for example, and give them to your manager. But what you can also do is you can have a look at the specific test history of a single test method, right? You open up the test history and you can see that, well, that's our flaky test. Sometimes it's successful, sometimes it fails, sometimes it takes less than a millisecond, sometimes it takes 10 milliseconds, 90 milliseconds, and you have that all in one place in a nice little table or in a tiny little diagram where you can see that, well, in build number 21, the test took uh, six milliseconds, right? And here it took 98 milliseconds in the next build run. Yeah, so just one build run, 100 milliseconds more. So have a look around, play with the test results page. Make sure you're using the Team City built in runners so that they can feed the data from Java Maven, for example, straight to Team City. Otherwise, if you're just using command line scripts, you'll have to do some elaborate manual work to get these test reports working. Other than that, that's about it. Bye.